so Ahmed asked about the face-off, and um, so at this point, I guess we can switch into: Can each of you, if if each of you had to ask the other company a question, the other founder a question, what would it be? I guess Ahmed will start with you. Um, what were the terms of the uh, investment? No, I'm kidding. Um, so if, if I had a question for a Ronaldo, it would be. Um, <coughs> What are your logistics return rates in Saudi Arabia? So they're below the 20%, so much better than the numbers that you guys have. Uh, I think that's because we're much more local. Uh, and we, you know we sometimes have a lot, even single digit months. So optimize that quite a bit. How do you know that these are the numbers that we have? You said 40%, or you said, I'm not sure. No, 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 I never mentioned anything about 40 percent. Hey, cool. What, what question do you have for me? Um, with the, 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 the cycles, so you, you guys, I think the flash sale model, from what I understand it, you block outside and you ship the goods after the items are sold, you clear them through customs and deliver them, so that adds quite a bit to your delivery cycle. I mean, how is the customer managed when He's getting his item one month, 21 days, to, uh, sometimes in, even in sites in the U.S. in the flash sale model, it's 14 days. Uh, so with COD, don't you yeah. see that? How do you manage that? The, the global average for that is, uh, is around 18 days for all flash sales modes. And the way we sell that to the customers, uh, and, or the way the customers sell that to themselves, or convince themselves of this uh, long uh, delivery time, is the fact that they're, they're getting the product, uh, first of all, uh, at a heavily discounted rate, so you, you won't be able to find these products at these prices uh, in the malls, for example. Uh, uh, secondly, they're getting, as I mentioned, uh, authentic original brands. They're getting it delivered directly to their home. If they don't like it, they can return it. So the combination of all these things, all this great value, uh, uh, justifies this long, uh, long delivery for the customer. And yes, maybe instant gratification when you're shipping within two to three days uh, lowers, uh, uh, higher, uh, let's say, the, the, the demand uh, for, for, uh, for the, the, the product and the customer service becomes much better uh, uh, than, than it may make sense. But we're not seeing that actually the long delivery times is, uh, is uh, affecting uh, uh, the customer's ability to buy uh, as much as we thought. Uh, Von Privé, for example, which is the leader, uh, as you know, these are the guys that are doing over a billion dollars, a billion euros in revenue. Their average lead time is 18 to 22, and that did not uh, uh, manage to, uh, to, to you know, scare them from, from scaling up the business to the volume that, uh, that uh, they are uh, at right now. No, just to clarify, I misspoke. I wasn't actually representing Marka VIP's numbers, but I, was, I meant um, 50 to, and I've heard even up to 70% or 80% rates of cash on delivery in Saudi Arabia. But on average, I know that the return rate is closer to 25%. Um, I don't know what Marka VIP's... That's the question that we can ask Ronnie. So what's, what's the split between your uh, cash on delivery versus credit card? In... In all markets, one market. Um, yeah, all, all markets. It varies. I mean, I think in general we we say it's seventy thirty, but we manage in certain markets and certain categories to reduce that. That it's seventy EPA and thirty COD. So. Ahmed, what about you guys? Uh, yeah, we've got we've got uh, similar rates for certain markets. We're seventy thirty, and in certain markets we're at eighty twenty. Uh, and, and we're trying to uh, improve that. I mean, this is a big issue for the region, and, and uh, it's unfortunate that uh, uh, you know we see, for example, a lot of customers when they're buying from Amazon. This is uh, information that, that uh, uh, I heard from, from some e-commerce executives from their shop and ship business. Uh, the fact that when they're purchasing from Amazon or Net-a-Porte or they're purchasing from uh, anywhere from a, from a Western website, let's say, uh, they're using their credit card. But when they're purchasing on local sites here, uh, they're, uh, they're using the cash on delivery uh, option. So there's still a certain level of insecurity on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, the, the Arab consumer or the online Arab consumer uh, to, to, uh, to use their credit card. 
so I think uh, as part of uh, what uh, the Namshi guys were pitching uh, uh, to me yesterday, we had we had a great meeting with them. Is that all of us should come together, whether it's uh, Namshi or Soup or uh, uh, Kuban or whoever, uh, come together and, and put together a campaign where we really uh, advertise, uh, including Aramex, where we really uh, do a huge marketing offline online campaign, TV campaign about shopping from uh, uh, you know from from Arab e-commerce websites and uh, the safety of, of uh, dealing with uh, with uh, with uh, online Arab e-commerce websites uh, to, to really incentivize the customer uh, to start using their credit cards and this this definitely would be a, a very big help for uh, for companies uh, uh, like ours even though as I mentioned we're not afraid of it uh, but it's, it is uh, for me disappointing or unfortunate that that people would use their credit cards um, online in, in the States, for example, to purchase products from uh, Amazon and, and not use it on, uh, on Market VIP or Soup or Nemshi or whatever it is. Uh, you know, we, we need to support this region. We need to build uh, uh, the e-commerce ecosystem, and uh, we, we, we need to, uh, uh, you know, the, the Arab consumer is as uh, responsible, let's say, uh, for, for helping uh, uh, the ecosystem uh, uh, as the entrepreneur is. So we need to support, we need to support uh, uh, these uh, e-commerce initiatives.